Warriors continued their third quarter domination, outscoring Boston by eight. In the series they outscored the Celtics by 43 in that third quarter, but Boston outscored Golden State 23 to 11 in the fourth for the win. The Celtics had a plus seven turnover differential in the fourth. The Warriors shot one for nine on threes. And a scare for the Warriors. Steph Curry came out with 219 left in the game after Al Horford rolled onto his leg on a loose ball. Afterward, Steph said, obviously in some pain, but I'll be all right. Ohm Young Misuk joins me now from Boston where he's covering the Warriors. Ohm, it looked to me like when I saw it, it looked like, ooh, that's right up to the line before you go, oh, he's going to be missing, right? He's going to be out for a while. What's the latest on Steph? Max, I was just told just a few minutes ago there is optimism surrounding Steph Curry's injury that it is not significant. This is huge news for the Warriors because when that play happened, I was thinking to myself, this is a moment that could change the entire NBA Finals. You see Steph writhing in pain, stomping his legs on the floor. I asked Draymond Green last night what he saw in that pileup, and he actually said, I got my sixth foul trying to toss people off of him because I heard Steph screaming at the bottom of that pile. When you hear that, you think the worst. But so far, it sounds like there's good news that Steph Curry has avoided significant injury. Steve Kerr is going to talk to the media at 2.15 shortly, and then Steph Curry will talk around 2, 2.35. And look, the one thing we know, they need Steph Curry's offense. But what we've seen since game two is that Steph Curry, he's not getting that airspace he normally gets when he comes around screens. He has to create his own offense. It didn't quite work in game three. Boston's defenders were able to kind of really slow him down. But if he is hampered the slightest bit, this is going to impact him and his ability to score and create his own space. Thank you, Ohm. And all I can think is, guys, Pat Bev and, and, and Dave Jacoby, good thing Steph's put in all that hard work bulking himself up, right? Yeah. Like, in a moment like that, you're like, whew. Pat, how worried are you about Steph's injury? Uh, I'm not worried. Uh, not worried at all. Um, obviously, we got the report from Ohm that, you know, everything's okay. Uh, but I, I, I will say this, from, a, from an athlete standpoint, if, if I was to get, I don't know, an ankle roll or, I don't know, some, some muscle tightness after a game and I was to come back the next game, I, I tend to focus a little bit more. You know, mm -hmm. not, you know, usually players that come back from injury tend to have better games, so I just want to watch out for that. Oh, interesting. Yeah. What about your, your thoughts on the leg and how could it could affect, like, no one's 100% this time. No, here, right? I mean, but everyone's like, beat up. I mean, yeah. you go up and down the rosters for both sides. Everyone's got, you know, little bumps and bruises but I think Pat makes a really interesting point about the focus about like having that in your head like you need to prepare more you need to be ready you need to be locked in and one thing about Steph in this series what we've learned is they need him on both ends of the floor because he's done a lot defensively in games game two specifically but he's been a two-way player in this finals that I haven't seen in previous finals from Steph but I always thought Steph was present on defense just not a good defender but present on defense and that means a lot and for the, I don't care what anyone says. I was waiting for him to have a finals like this. I have not seen it before with no KD there. I know you're going to have your 30 points. You're going to shoot. What about in the second half when the team needs it most? Game two, there he was. Game three, there he was. No one can do it by himself. He needs some help. Yeah. But for the first time on the, in a non-KD Warriors finals, I saw, I've seen Steph step up in the yeah. second half of games for sure. when mm -hmm. the going gets tough. Pat, you were high on the Warriors before the season started series started how did they find themselves in two one hole they uh they are letting the ball get into the paint all the time i mean it's they went from guarding a little bit to a point where where, where everyone's just get blown by now um and 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 and, and when you when that happens I, I don't know a defense in, in, in the nba that can sustain an offense that just gets in your paint all the time they're putting pressure on them uh obviously robert williams is right there in the dunker you he's a lob threat you have to be scared about that the guard has to help in the corners are open you're not rotating from the top of the key so it's a lot of things going on but it starts with uh it starts with the ball pressure and it starts with ball containment and um, golden state has uh, lacked that the last couple and that's probably you know the, what, one of the things they were thinking when they draft wiseman who's not available yeah. and maybe hasn't developed yeah. exactly the, the way they they would have liked jacoby what stood out to you from Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown has been so aggressive in this series. And let's not forget the fourth quarter of game one. It was him that was the catalyst of that, that led to all those threes. And one thing I noticed from last night is 
Now, now, Pat, you can appreciate this. A lot of people don't look at you when you're when they have you as a matchup and say, I'm going right to the basket, going past you. He did that to Draymond Green last night. Waved former, off Steph. Yeah, former defensive player of the year, Jalen Brown says, I'm good. I'm going past Draymond Green, and I'm going to the rack. He's been aggressive, and he has been more sort of important in igniting runs for them than Jason Tatum has. That's not something I expected going into this series. Aggressive. Yeah, and, I, and I agree with that. Totally, totally, like, his ones right now, we, when, we, when we say ones, we mean like your one-on-one -on -one package to get yep. past a defender. His, he, ha he has the best ones on the floor for both teams. Uh, his size, his ability to finish, his ability to shoot. Look, he, he weighs off. I don't want Steph. I want the But that's Draymond Green. Defender, that's know? Draymond so, like, Green, too. That, that, and, and, as a, and as a defender, you see that, you know, man, I'm going to just go at Pat Bev. I'm going to just go at Draymond. My teammates see that, man. It's a long day. It's that's a long interesting. Day. Because you don't get that a lot, right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of times, come, come, yeah, send, me, come send me one. Uh -uh. Marcus <laughs> Smart, like for Steph to get some air with Marcus Smart, it takes Draymond holding him and, and you know, like it takes screens and all kinds of stuff. And here's Jalen Brown, just yeah. his ones, huh? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.